So James, a 2-0 victory against Peterhead this afternoon, you must be pleased with the three points? Yeah, look, the, the three points at the end of the day are the, the be all and end all every Saturday or Sunday or Friday whenever you play a game, Tuesday. But the, the first half performance was was excellent in really tough conditions. We played some some very good, fast, uh, getting the ball into dangerous areas. We were, were relentless in the first half and caused them a lot of problems. And the first goal, we've got a bit of fortune, and but you take that. Um, we encourage them to shoot. You don't shoot, you don't score. And he might have deserved that. The second goal is a bit of brilliance. So a, a good team goal. And, and the one Chris just misses, what a goal that would have been as well. So the first half for me, in terms of football, when we all talk about this, the, the way you play football or the the, the right way to play football, which is, is not something I completely agree with, the, the right way to play football is to win games, but we, we understand what it means. But in terms of that, that's the best football and performance from from the Fairmont Athletic, in my opinion, this season, the way we controlled that game in, in horrific conditions. So we're pleased with that. Second half, it was it was difficult. We, we, we could defend a little bit higher because we knew the ball wasn't coming as far. It, it meant that there wasn't as much space in the pitch, but we were happy with that because the game was won in the first half. And, and I think Dennis is one save that he could have. He could have threw his hat on really uh, with it for the header, and apart from that, we were, we were comfortable and it was a really comfortable afternoon. Look, I think there's been games where we have played some really good stuff, um, some really good football, and, and we've also got to understand it's hard because, particularly when teams come to East End Park and they've got a 5 4 1 or sometimes a 5 5, and you're just trying to break teams down and there's no space. and but we need to find ways of doing it, we understand that and, and we're, we're, we're a work in progress, it's still early. Today we showed that, that we can do it, but there's been other games that showed that we could do it, like we showed against Celtic B through the week as well, that, that we can keep the ball, we can knock the ball about. So look, I'm not too bothered or getting drawn up on, is it the perfect way to play? We assess every game and we, we find a way or we, we work on a way that we believe can win a game. Now, we knew what the conditions were going to be like, so there, were, there was no point. We had targets up top in, in Whiting and Todorov that we could have went more direct to if we wanted to, but there was no point today doing that. We, we had to. We knew we had to play football um, and, and build from the back, which I thought they'd done really well. Uh, the three centre-backs were excellent in that and doing it, and, and Peterhead couldn't get to grips with it in the first half, and then when you start getting Mockery, White and Edwards, Comrie on the ball high up the pitch, then we, 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 we become a real threat because you've got Todorov in there also who's a he's a handful and a nightmare for any centre back when, when he's between the goals so that was that was a game plan and it, it worked really well for the first 45 minutes and, and, and we had the game won and we just had to be professional because we've been in that position before against that team and lost two late goals and that still hurts um, so we had to be professional and, and see it out and the ones that come on helped that but the lads were excellent again today look it's this is a tricky place to come. I've came here a few times. We, as I spoke to you through the week, I had a Scottish Cup tie here on Valentine's Day this year. Um, we were a Premiership club and we really struggled that night. We got the result, but we struggled. We were today, we were, we were much better and we thoroughly deserved our, our three points. Great support up here, considering the, the conditions and the time of year. And they'll be going home happy and I'm sure you and the players will enjoy your weekend as well. Yeah, you know, like the, again, the, the turning up and the making noise, it's great. Like, like I said to you the other day, they wouldn't care if it was if the wind was double this speed and it was snow and rain and everything at the one time. They, they love seeing this. They love their club. They love seeing their club winning. Um, it's now won the feet in sixteen league games, which we're proud of. Um, but we still want to get better. They want us to get better. We want to get better. The players want to get better. And next week we we turn to Scottish Cup action and we'll have a good crowd at home to home to Forfa because it's the Scottish Cup's a big competition and it's it's another one we want to advance in. So I'll enjoy the bus journey down the road. It's always better when you get the win when you when you come you travel far and we'll enjoy that and then and then come tomorrow all focus is on Forfa and in the league it's sat to the side and and all the work in it goes into Forfa for next week and, and we'll take it for there but yeah look I'm, I'm delighted for the fans again this week the ones that travelled the ones that watched it on Pals TV um, the support's been great as I've touched on every every interview so as long as we keep winning or keep no I take that back as long as we keep performing to a level that they can see the effort and the, the commitment for everyone at the football club then and they'll be happy with us